day three of 2020 Cape Breton COVID vacation. What you missed last night? Not much. After dipping the lake uh, and had supper, did a little walk around boardwalk. We're to bed before 10 o'clock. Vacation is exhausting. <laughs> The restaurant was nice. Restaurant was great. Yeah. Live music. Decent food. Big service. I don't know if we mentioned, but we're pretty close to the main road. <laughs> uh, no traffic here at night, though. It was actually very quiet. Um, what did you think of the tiniest of our three tiny places we were staying in? Uh, first reaction going into it was absolutely adorable. But it's not the most functional places in the bed. It is not good. Yeah, it's a very thin mattress. But I mean, no, uh, not a, a matter of false advertising. You get exactly what is in the uh, booking. It worked for us because it was going to be right beside the uh, the whale cruise. Whale watching. Well, yeah, which didn't work out. Um, and it just looked adorable in the pictures. We thought, what the hell? The, this. The outside deck was great. Had a cigar here yesterday. I wanted to have a cigar here last night, but I was just tired and it was getting kind of cold, so I went to bed instead. But we still got another hour before we have to vacate, so we're going to have a little tea, sit back and relax, and start the journey for day three. Um, we're going to the other side of the cabin trail, and because we want to drive the entire cabin trail, we're going to uh, backtrack. Uh, and head back up towards Pleasant Bay and around to our next hike, which for some odd reason is going to be a mountain again. <laughs> See you there. Hike up a mountain. Oh boy. It's uh, kind of sprinkling a little bit. We might get a little bit wet. And it could be a little chilly. But those aren't terrible conditions for hiking as long as it doesn't pour. We'll, see. well, we did this one in a snowstorm once. So, hey, yeah. A little rain and wind. This, this should be fine. <laughs> so, let's go Mount Franny. I'm waiting three days to do that joke. It doesn't surprise me. About a kilometer in, had a nice crushed gravel path up to this point, but things are about to change in a hurry. First look off, it's coming right up. It's good, we can use the brake. First scenic lookout has been looked at. Breeze is strong, but uh, when you're hiking up mountain, it doesn't feel too bad. When he might have started raining right now, just kind of sprinkling, just kind of misting, which may affect our view at the top look off, but fingers crossed, we'll have something to show you.
it is definitely full of roots, rocks, and other things that you're gonna trip over. Especially when you're gawking at the scenery, it's really pretty. this old foundation for something we are 2.8 kilometers up a mountain so I don't know what used to be up here yeah, yeah? I have no idea Tim Hortons maybe yeah <laughs> it's my best guess pretty cool though folks we just hit the three kilometer mark hour 15 minutes in first two and a half kilometers is pretty much straight up and then we almost got half a kilometer of level which is a nice little break we got some blueberries we got some nice pictures and it looks like we're here so i'm going to turn the camera around so you're not looking at my ugly mug and you can see the look off <laughs> Welcome to tiny house number three. Have we determined? Is this bigger than our first one? I don't think it is. No? All right. Here is our own personal hot tub. Very excited about that. Here's our spot. So, if we circle around. We got a little couch, a little bed, little table, all appropriate for a little house. And we got a nice little sink, microwave, fridge. We've got a couple burners there if we need them. We've got a heat pump if it gets cold or hot. A couple little deck chairs to sit out. So yeah. I think this is gonna do us and we are actually staying here for two nights so we actually get to settle down and relax a little bit uh, we still got some adventures to do but tomorrow's adventure doesn't involve a lot of driving so that's gonna be nice so we're gonna unpack we'll see what comes next all right so we are going to take a little walk around this area because I've got some pretty cool dwellings so take a look oh cool door we're on the way to the chicken yurt if i remember right it's just where they house a bunch of chickens we were here nine months ago we stayed in the cedar yurt which we'll show you when we get up there I loved it. Kimmy tolerated it. <laughs> and what was the biggest downfall with it? Didn't have a toilet. There's no washroom in it. The tiny house has a washroom. That's our compromise. 
Yes. I got the hot tub both nights. I'm excited about that. All right, let's find the chicken yurt. And we are coming up on the yurt where we stayed, the cedar yurt, which I absolutely loved. Um, I'm a cigar smoker, and it was like you were in a humidor. It's the only way I could describe it. it may not appeal to a lot of people. If you smoke cigars, you know what I'm talking about. And that is the cedar. Cedar floors, walls, and then the tent on the top. I love that. And then over to your left here is the chicken yurt. Chicken yurt. Let's go visit the chicken yurt. Well, the chickens were out when we first got here, but they must be sleeping. Uh, there's the chicken yurt. Might be able to get it at a good price right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> And I believe this is, is this the event? Yep. Yep. Says it right on the door. Mm, apparently your eyes are better than mine. And this is the main lodge, which during not COVID times, uh, there's a common area, a really nice common area, um, a bistro. They're still doing meals. I believe they're takeout now. You just go in and pick it up. Uh, we're doing our own thing, so we don't have to worry about that. Hot tub underneath. Huge hammock. That's pretty wild. Oh, well, this one you can throw the kids in the other one. Taking on water. <laughs> I think we'd go for quite the hike here. <laughs> <laughs> 